we're in Kopetnik, Kopetnik. Um, once again, you may remember this map as the map in which I got absolutely slaughtered and in which I also promised never to fight again <laughs> and yet here we are again so what happened? so actually um, I'm passing through this map on my way to Berlin so this is right on the outskirts of Berlin and so um, you know I'll probably have to fight on it you know probably so this is April 22nd and I believe it's the morning of the 22nd so I may have to fight here this entire day but when I get the chance I'll be retreating from it um, once again uh, they have well actually I think pretty much all their battle groups have um, have tanks and other kinds of armor and I obviously don't so the setup here is what I call the sacrificial lamb slash avoid all contact strategy so if you notice I've got all my troops spread out because I know they're going to hit me with these um, Katusha rockets and I don't want to lose multiple men and not only that um, I've, again I've, I've saved my elite units for um, for the battles up ahead and instead I've put a whole bunch of high school kids and elderly men as I, as I like to call them um, into the battlefield so I've got these Folkstrom group Folkstrom group, Folkstrom group, a whole bunch of Folkstrom group and Schutzen group which is um, they're basically both second line infantry and that's pretty much it I think I've only got really one or two elite units these grenadier groups I think are experienced but other than that everyone is spread out um, we want to avoid contact I've got a scout here on the right he's going to be checking out um, their movements I've got a sniper in the upper left he's going to be sniping from a distance and a motor round and other than that um, let's hope we don't lose a lot of men here so we can save them for the future. Alright, let's fight. Ooh, they've got these tanks. Now what is this? I can't identify but this one looks like an ISU 122 and this one looks like something else. Alright, oh, so this um, reminds me of something that I wanted to mention. Someone um, in one of the YouTube, one of the previous YouTube videos that I uploaded um, corrected me and they pointed out and rightly so that the uh, ISU-122 is not the Joseph Stalin tank um, and that's completely my bad I got them confused I got the ISU-122 confused with the IS-2 now the IS-2 is um, was named after Joseph Stalin and in fact IS stands for Joseph Stalin in Russian or Cyrillic whatever that is so, my mistake, <laughs> my mistake, oh, let's go right here to defend because they're coming strong, ah, this is, let's get, let's get them out of there actually, there's no point in fighting with these units here, let's, let's put them behind this tank, they should be fine there, so yeah, um, so that's that, and actually here goes a, an SU-100, and what is this? Oh, this is an ISU-122. So there we go. Perfect. So this is not the Joseph Stalin-122. Um, again, that's the IS-2. And uh, a little minor, minor mistake on my behalf. <laughs> Very minor. Nothing, nothing that can't be pointed out. Let me pay attention to what's going on. They've taken the church again. Okay. They're coming from all locations. My men were able to relocate successfully, it looks like. Now why this SU-100 didn't open up is beyond me. So this SU-100 actually has a pretty decent gun, but it has weak armor. So I don't really fear this tank. Um, if I can, you know, field a, a Panzer IV, um, I'm okay with battling with this tank. Oh, whoa, look at this here. Oh no. Okay, so here's my high school kids. Let's see how they perform. Better start opening up and my sniper is hot pizza number two. Does he have a shot? No he doesn't. My sniper his name is Berman. See my I put my men behind a uh, 38T. 
I think that's what that is. That's the wreckage. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot with these guys because they're gonna get demolished by that tank. Um, let's open up with some mortars. See what we can do here. There's a whole bunch of uh, Soviets crowded here, so let's hopefully we can get lucky. But we're not, of course. Uh oh. These guys are gonna have to relocate. Let's get them out of there. Oh, that tank is taking them out. Damn it! So let's check. Uh oh, they're coming inside the hotel and they're coming fast. Where's my mortars at? Looks like I killed some some men with the mortars. Let's go after these. Oh, the high school kids are getting overrun. Oh, look at that! Wow! Whoa, that was nasty. That's why you don't put high school kids as your primary source of defense. <laughs> That'd be a lesson. Okay, now my sniper should have a shot and he does. So let's take that guy out. Oh, he missed. Here comes the tank. Let's see if we can't take this, the SG-100 out. So it has very weak armor. Did we fire something? I thought I saw something getting fired. So how's uh, my sniper doing here? Oh, my sniper got discovered and he was killed. Yeah, so he's gone. Oh, so they took the road to Templehof. And they're not stopping for squat. Uh oh. What the fool's that? Wow, this guy's gone berserk. You guys see this at the lower right? <laughs> That's actually the first time I've seen that. So he's going all out um, to try to kill um, many Soviets on behalf of the guy with the mustache, Mr. Joseph Stout. Oh, I'm sorry, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> They're still berserk. Wow, these are some hardcore high school kids. Oh, they were killed. I was gonna say, I don't know what they're teaching in school these days. But man. So, uh... Ah, as expected. Really not, nothing I could do here. And they're coming this way. So let's throw some grenades. Looks like we missed. Oh, it looks like we killed one of them. And they're being outflanked. So that's perfect. Let's shoot them with these guys. So it looks like my Folkstone troop up here at the north is... Oh, they got this flamethrower unit. I can't take it. I need to take this guy out. I can't. Wow. He single-handedly is taking me out. I don't know what to do here. I'm out of units. I'm getting overrun. I've got a few here. I've got one guy here. Let's, let's just keep him. Uh, I've got some mortars. I have two mortars left. Let's use them on this group right here. Oh, come on! Kill one! Oh, right, we're out now. Uh oh, they're coming back here again. And they've got a lead tank. Oh, my men are coward. I can't do anything. Oh man, I can't do any. <laughs> my scout unit is the only one that's alive. And
Wow, so once again, I've been routed from this mess. <whistles> they really love Kopechnik or Kopnik, however you say that. Uh, let's check out the details. I got destroyed. I damaged one of their tanks. Oh, probably with that grenade that I threw. Um, killed off a few. Check out the whole campaign. You know, I was doing actually better than this, but um, it's only recently that um, I've started to, you know, run out of the last remaining tanks that I had. They've been killed off, or destroyed, I should say. So, in a lot of these maps, you're going to see me get routed, just because I have no, you know, anti-armor, or anti-tank stuff. So, that's that. That was Kopechnik again. You can see it turned into the Communist Star again. Um, alright, so, 11 days remaining. And let's continue. Let's see if we can do better someplace else. Alright, see ya.